Welcome, and thank you for watching Auto Drill tutorial videos. Today we're going to discuss how to dimension your standard drill press or milling machine. On the table below you will see typical arbors that you might come across on your machine, such as the Jacobs taper, or the Morse taper, or for a Bridgeport milling machine, an RA taper. Some of the tools you might need to get these dimensions is a caliper or a micrometer. To remove the key chuck, you might need to use for a Jacobs tapers, wedge sets, or for a Morse taper, a drift key with a hammer. Uh, for our drilling machine, it seems to be a Grizzly with a Morse taper. Uh, you'll take the drift key and a hammer, align the slot, and knock it loose, like so. Once the key chuck is removed, you will then follow the PDF form that will send in an email for your machine. This is an example of different configurations of drill presses such as Clausings or Grizzlies and Deltas, where over here you'll see a different PDF for Bridgeport milling machine styles with RA tapers. Our machine happens to be a Morse taper, and we'll use a caliper to get dimensions. The A dimension on our PDF form that you'll see here is the non-rotating quill, which must not rotate in order for the adapter to clamp it on tightly. When a drilling machine is on, you'll see that the spindle below does the rotating where the non-rotating part of the quill is stationary. That is important for clamping an adapter successfully. The A dimension will be taken like so with a caliper or a micrometer, and you will get the dimension necessary for the adapter. You will then look to the PDF again and see on the B dimension that is the lip right underneath the quill, mostly in Morse taper settings, as you see here. This is important because when an adapter is clamped on, you'll see that the Morse taper or the Jacobs taper will simply slide in right inside here. Using the caliper again, you'll get that dimension like so. Now you'll see on the PDF again the C dimension, which is the width of the quill right here. This is important because it, it gauges the depth that the adapter will have to clamp onto. This drill press happens to have a large one and inch and a quarter dimension uh, <coughs> quill, whereas this drill press has a depth gauge, as yours might have. This uh, depth gauge has been loosened for illustration purposes, but if your drill press happens to have one, you simply loosen it, remove it, and clamp onto here as, as so. If your drill press has a depth gauge, however, it's got a longer lip, you might be able to slide it up and still be able to clamp onto with a multiple spindle head adapter. The D dimension, which you'll see on the PDF, for the Morse taper represents the depth here, which you'll simply gauge like so. If you have a Jacobs taper, it just measures the depth of that Jacobs taper, which you'll see here in the drawing under D. The E uh, dimension here is the Morse taper opening, which is a very important dimension. You'll also see a chart that shows the typical dimensions for all Morse tapers. So simply just use a caliper, measure underneath, and you should get the accurate dimension, which for this machine should be 0.938. There we go. And that is how you dimension your drill press for the adapters. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us at 1-800-871-5022 or for internationally, 01908. 542-0244 or visit us on the web at drillhq.com. That's actually drill-hq.com.